Fucking wow. Fucking oh my god. Yeah, if you don't already fucking know, this is going to be a, a rant, a TV mature goddamn rant. Um, just got done watching Godzilla vs. King Kong. I was going to edit this video, this review, but fuck that. I have, I'm already have watched, stayed up since midnight. Oh my God. Listen, um, I'm going to get the good things out of the way and then I'm going to just fucking just, oh, okay. I'm going to get the good things out of the way. So yes. King Kong and the Godzilla fights are great. There's some great shots. Uh, I, visually, I really like it. You know, I like the, the color palette, uh, the destruction of it all. I get it. I freaking get it. All right. It's supposed to be a stupid turn your brain off movie. Fucking eat your popcorn, drink your goddamn cherry Coke or Pepsi. It's now Pepsi for fucking Regal. Um, even though the theaters are still not open and, you know, just, just watch the two fight and it's great when the two fight and they're on screen. It's great. Uh, I don't think this, uh, director, he does have a visual eye. Uh, he does do the fights really well. I just don't, I, I, he's not as good as Gareth Edwards. Gareth Edwards actually really has that sense of scale there's still no sense of scale in these fucking movies, right? Where it, it, it feels so more impactful. But this one is just a slobber knocker. It's fucking... To me, this is The Meg with Jason Statham. Pacific Rim, both of the fucking movies. And then also, I throw in fucking Lost in Space. Not the TV show, but the fucking movie they came out with. I throw in that. I mean, you put all that shit together, that's what you get. You get a lot of shit. Um, but like I said, the fights are great. Um, the score is really good. I actually really enjoyed the score of this film. I thought that was good. Um, and then let's fucking go. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's all I fucking really enjoyed. This movie, I... It's so fucking stupid, all right? It, the humans' characters are garbage. So they set up a couple characters from um, Godzilla, right? The second one. Uh, there's none of the first first movie. I wish Brian Cranston was in this film. It would make the film better if Brian Cranston was just in it. If he was just... He, who gives a shit what he does if he was just in it? The fucking um, King Kong Skull Island, like you don't, you get a couple characters from these uh, films um, in this film, but not really. You get mostly new characters, and who gives a fuck? All right, there's a lot of fucking deaths in this movie, a lot of deaths. And you thought Man of Steel was fucking? If everybody was bitching about Man of Steel, you have not seen this movie yet. <laughs> fucking wow. I, the, the human characters are so stupid. I don't get it. I don't get how lazy, how lazy the screenwriting is on this. I know it's supposed to be just Godzilla versus King Kong. That's what we paid to see. But guess what? There isn't a lot. Like, this is like fucking two, two hours, two and a half. There isn't enough of Godzilla and King Kong to carry this movie. You still need if you're good, you, the budget, right? You got you're gonna throw a fucking lot of money on the CGI, the creatures. So you need to you need scenes that don't require that as much, and that's the human side, that's the human characters. But fuck, wow! When I saw Deadpool two kid in here, I was like, oh shit, no. No, uh, 11 don't do shit in here. Uh, any of these characters don't do shit, really. Honestly, they don't. Uh, the little kid in the trailer, who cares? You know, they try to give you like the heart of um, that's the heart of the film. It doesn't fucking work. None of the human characters' storylines work. It was a chore, guys. It was a fucking chore to get from you go 
to get to each fucking beat, you know, each scene. You get the King Kong Godzilla, yeah, and then you go straight to the characters and what they have to do and what they have to go through to this film. It is so stupid. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you could not make this a better film, a better overall film. Don't you're giving me fucking a couple M and M's here, but then you're keeping the whole bag to yourself. Give me, buy me some fucking M and M's, please. Give me, I want to enjoy the whole fucking process. This is half ass at its best. I am so pissed off of fucking. This is the same tropes, the same predictor. There's a fucking mustache twirling villain in here. That's you didn't even think he was a villain, honestly, until like they show him here and there. The screen time for the characters they have. For the, the, some of the characters, right? Not the main characters, but some of the characters. The mustache twirling villain, his henchmen. Uh, uh, one of the characters that was from the second Godzilla is in here. Uh, it's uh, uh, Eleven's dad. No, nothing. They What the fuck are they there for? What Just to tie in some of this stuff? It's so, so stupid. So stupid. Some of the world building is cool. I mean, this is a monster universe. Uh, some of the ideas they have in this film are cool. But it all falls flat. You're just kind of sitting there just going like, okay, when's the next fucking fight? When's the next thing that's going to happen? And it fucking takes forever. You have to sit through all these stupid ass jokes that they tried. It's I, literally the phrase of a fucking four-year-old or a teenager or an amateur writer is so thrown for a lot of reviews that I watch. But wow, does this feel like that? I love Godzilla. They do my boy, they do my boy big in here. King Kong, they do him pretty good. I like the Kong. I like this version of Kong. I liked his solo film. He had like a little bit of that humanity, right? You get a little bit of that too in this film. The ending is so anticlimactic. I probably said that fucking wrong, but who cares? Who fucking if if who cares? You know who cares if I say that wrong? Because apparently fucking writers don't care to make a good just overall story that could set up these fights. The setup, the fucking this is a boxing match that had no promotion, that had no build up. Well, it did in the trailers and stuff, but like let's just say in real life, right? <laughs> Oh my god. I know people are probably going to disagree the hell out of they're going to disagree. They're going to say this is this was fun, it was stupid, but it was great. I loved it. I I I love movies like that. All right? I'm still a big fan of Independence Day. I'm still a fan of the Pacific Rim movies. You know, I really liked the first Godzilla, but I didn't like the second. This is I believe the same director as the second Godzilla. I like Kong Skull Island. Like I like movies like this. And there's some weak-ass characters in there, too. Human characters. But this was just... I, I just feel like you have this... You, you've you been planning this, right? But it feels like this fucking plan didn't execute well at all. Just the fights were great. I'm not paying for a fucking couple fights. I'm paying... Well, not paying at all. I'm, well, no, I am paying. I'm paying HBO Max. I'm paying... For an overall great experience, you don't have to go deep with the characters. It doesn't have to be a fucking Evangelion. But don't act like I'm a fucking idiot and I'm sitting there watching these characters and it's it's really bad, guys. It's really, really bad. Okay? You have a lot of side plots that are going on and you don't invest in any of these human characters any of them and you're gonna say you know godzilla films that there it was just always mostly scientists and then fighting uh you you had to go through those boring parts to get to the fighting we live in fucking 2021 that's not the same anymore okay and then you know i never thought godzilla was the savior of our planet never thought that in this universe just never thought about it the ending of the first film when he's fucking still destroying shit while he's going back to the water that's our savior boys that's our savior so you're probably wondering is the but is the setup like does it make sense with kong versus godzilla yeah it makes a somewhat sense all right it makes somewhat sense it's just the execution and the 
the build up to these fights are just really not that great. I, the whole movie, I was like hoping like fucking Gypsy Danger comes out and he joins the fight. Okay, I was hoping that. I'm like, and you know what? That at least you know, or bring some of those characters in because at least those characters are a little bit more, um, I guess, a little bit more fleshed out. <laughs> You know, I like Charlie Hunnam in the movie, but you know, this, in but this, 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 like I just, I just know the actress's name, Rebecca Hall. Uh, whoever was with her in this film was, I didn't even really, I don't even remember any of these characters. I don't remember any of the human characters' names. I even call uh, Millie Bobby freaking Eleven, and Deadpool Kid too. I don't know any of these characters' names. I'm so. I'm so just defeated with laziness of fucking of of big studios thinking that listen all they you need is Godzilla versus King Kong, yes, but not if you're gonna fucking have most of the movie us following these human characters. Get them fucking out of the way and just make a Godzilla versus King Kong. That's it. I don't even give a shit. They, there's no talking through the whole film, and it's just the, us trying to figure out what the hell Kong is doing. The human element throughout this film is so, so stupid. It brings the film down. It brings it down. It doesn't even make the fights necessarily worth watching because you have to sit through all this other bullshit. Really bad. I have not been this pissed off on the film and so disappointed since like probably Batman v Superman. But Batman v Superman is a better film. It's a better film. How crazy is that? You could put the fucking Martha scene in this movie and it would make sense. <laughs> it would make so much sense. Um, It's not a spoiler. Fucking people know. It's in the trailer. I don't know why they did this. I don't even know why they put Funko Pops out for it. It would have been nice to have a little, at least some surprise. But Mecha Godzilla is in this. And his design, I think, is bad. I don't think his design is that great. I think Ready Player One's Mecha Godzilla design was way better. So he's in this. And all those things, all those theories after watching Godzilla 2 and stuff, and a little bit, yeah, it plays out here. But don't hold your breath on any of those like characters from Godzilla 2 to come back. Because they ain't coming back. Or at least not right now. And the whole fucking Mecha Godzilla thing was kind of st- it was really dumb if you think about it. Entertaining fight, didn't like the design, but really stupid how they all set that up. You know they're all gonna fucking fight. This movie is so dumb, and I know I know we were looking for dumb, but this is not even like you have to sit through a lot of lot of fucking bullshit, a lot of exposition. A lot of fucking backstory being told. A lot of we have to go do this. We have to go do that. There is bad like Lost in Space fucking moments in this. Of the movie. Like the Lost in Space movie. There's bad moments in here. It's really fucking stupid. I'm I'm done. <laughs> fucking done. I mean I watched the, I watched the movie. Um, I'm going to IMAX to see it again. With my boy Albert. Uh, IMAX actually makes everything better. So I've seen I Am Legend, The Dark Knight Rises. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing the fights in IMAX. But I'm not looking forward to sit through all the fucking human part bullshit. You, I don't, un, I just don't understand how you can't make them fucking, you can't make the human characters at least a little bit compelling. Don't throw me a bunch of fucking new characters you what are you you thinking what are you thinking you threw me new characters you had some of the old characters but you didn't do shit with them you did nothing nothing oh my god this gives me a i mean seriously i i wasted oh i should have just waited for until fucking imax i'm gonna watch this movie again I'm gonna watch this movie again, but I'm gonna fucking enjoy my popcorn and I'm gonna enjoy my goddamn cherry Pepsi or whatever they have because I, I, I'm just gonna focus on that until the fights come out. I I I really hope they get a better screenwriter in any upcoming other fucking movies they do. I hope they get a new director. No, di- I mean th- listen, the director has great moments in throughout this film. Like I said, the sh- some of the shots are really cool, uh, really. Um, 
he's he's really taking chances with a lot of this stuff. But it's just the story, man. The story is just fucking stupid. <laughs> it is dumb. It is so dumb. It is so fucking dumb. It is so dumb. But it's like, so, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Is this better than Joss Whedon and Justice League? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god. Is that's that's all I have, man. I mean, I mean, if you want to, if you want more reviews. Subscribe to the channel. I got movie reviews, TV show reviews. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I fucking sat through this thing. I will say though, the way that fucking um, Godzilla does his atomic breath is so dope. Though, like I said, like some of the the visuals are great, right? But this is so fucking stupid. This is so dumb. I can't. I just, I just was watching, sitting, and watching, just seeing, just seeing like, what? Where's this going? Why do I care? I'm going go on my phone. This is so boring. That's the problem with live streaming t- or, you know, HBO Max is like you sit down and you can go on your phone uh, most of the time. But I, I try to sit through this and I try to sit through all the human characters. The jokes were so bad. So fucking bad. So fucking bad. That's it. I'm done. Um, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Comment below. Let me know. If you comment below, have you seen this movie? What, am I the only one here? Am I the only one that thinks this was a big pile of piece of shit? And the only good thing was a little bit of the M&Ms that they sprinkled. They gave me. They gave me like two fucking M&Ms here. Because am I the only one? Am I the only one? Is it just me? It might be. Because beforehand... I was seeing that the, a lot of people were like praising it, and it is the, you know, it drew a big box office in the foreign uh, market. But what the fuck, guys? I mean, I want we're twenty twenty one. We've seen how many fucking movies? It's time to get quality, better quality fucking humans, better quality characters. You know. Don't throw me more characters, because throwing me more characters is not going to do it. Stick with fucking three characters. This is bad. This was really bad. So pissed. I really wanted to love this movie. I absolutely loved... I thought the fights were fucking great. Kong versus Godzilla. But everything fucking else was terrible. Fucking terrible. I'm done. Alright, I'm going to fucking bed. I'm done. Good night, guys.